So my first area was, well, I guess we arrived in the airplane and then it was just like monsoon season, I felt like. It was just more rain than any of us have ever have ever seen. And we get in this like van with uh, the missionaries that picked us up and they're just like flooring it through the streets and just, you know, there w it didn't seem like, yeah, there was a... Any, tour, any sort of traffic laws, honestly. <laughs> just like going super fast and everything was kind of like just crazy. Just a ton of rain and a lot of uh, crazy drivers and, and whatnot. But yeah, uh, I got to my area shortly after and just uh, because it was, you know, rainy season, everything was just kind of like so green and just so really, really pretty. And the majority of the streets that um, we would walk on or were all muddy and dirt and a lot of the houses throughout the mission were made of like clay and it's just uh and had some sort of uh you know always had their roofs out of what like 10 or 10 to like protect him from the rain and stuff like that but yeah it's just a complete uh probably i don't know i mean you would imagine that you'd, you'd have a ton of cultural shock but for some reason being that it was just completely different than anything I was ever used to. I just didn't feel like too weird about it. It was just like, I, I guess I was just blessed to just think everything was normal, you know, although everything was completely different than, you know, especially being that I didn't know any Eng or Spanish and my companion was completely, didn't know any English, you know, so it's like, it was, de it was very strange just not being able to like communicate and with anyone for that matter and and the area I was in was very secluded it was like uh like an hour away from the rest of our zone so like I had little interaction with other missionaries or Americans for that matter and it was just crazy like not communicating like at all <laughs> it's just like you know do your best and have a lot of time to think to yourself because you're, you're kind of alone uh, in regards to, like, you know, interacting, talking. There's, you just kind of stare at each other and kind of, like, make hand motions, you know. But, yeah, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, that was a fun experience. It was, like, more of a, I don't know, like a Sierra-like type um, area. So, like, not near a city, just, like, kind of um, surrounded by areas that are within mountains and just kind of like it was it was definitely uh different as far as like the culture was in 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 peru just because a lot of the areas are near a city so it's kind of like a more civilized um, place whereas this place was just like kind of off on its own and and uh i don't know how to really explain it but there just wasn't like it was just more like dirt paths like little tiny stores like not really a supermarket of any sort just like everyone kind of doing their own their own thing as far as like making a living as far as maybe having a store or or trying to you know do their own type of repair for for earning money it's just like really really different just because there wasn't like like a, a store for people to go like a big like shopping center or anything like that it's it's really hard to explain I guess and maybe it's my memory kind of uh failing me but it's it was interesting that area was called Matupe that was my first area and I was there for like s mm, four and a half months and it was it was awesome and then from there you know we just uh would get transferred every uh one to two transfers and and it was uh every area was so different and the people that you would uh interact with are always so friendly and and kind and humble and and just willing to learn and excited to change you know uh, their lives according to the gospel and it's a it's a great place to to serve a mission just like everywhere is but this place specifically was perfect for me just because people were so willing to hear what I had to say and even though I struggled to say it at first uh, people were just uh, so friendly and, and kind and understanding of, of the difficulties of that I was having to like communicate at first and express what I wanted to express and but yeah and on top of that like my first area kind of um, 
was somewhat of a turning point for me, like spiritually, because I didn't <laughs> have a spiritual base. So kind of that, that at that time, I, I started to somewhat develop a, a purpose for being out there and, and uh, change my life a little bit and, and you know, work with like my mission president at that time to, to get me where I needed to be. So, yeah, it's my mission, honestly, like, I might not be the best missionary to interview as far as, like, cultural stuff and, like, remembering all these crazy things is because my mission was just one long, like, transformation and my mind was so, like, focused on changing and becoming a true representative of Christ that I don't, everything else is a blur, you know. It was just such a big transformation and change in my life that... It's really difficult for me to remember, like, these specific, like, maybe details of, of, you know, my mission itself. Whereas, like, you know, obviously I can remember um, being so determined uh, to teach the gospel um, and just feeling how that focus in serving a mission correctly um, just remembering how that that made me feel so good, and um, just changed changed my life and or changed me so that I could change my future, you know.